Hi there, everybody. My name's Mark Till. This is Mark's on the Grill. Hey, welcome to our show. Listen, simple ingredients. We've got our pulled pork. We've got our pulled pork butt that's uh, it, it's resting in the cooler. And have a look here. Uh, we've got our, come on in here, Trish. We've got our uh, a coleslaw. We made it spicy this time. I got some barbecue sauce, some pickle chips, and listen, a real pulled pork sandwich is that soft, yummy potato roll. You don't do anything to it. You don't butter it. You don't toast it. You don't stick anything on it. It's just the way it is, man. All right, let's do some pulled pork. Listen, I got it in the cooler here. Uh, this guy was stubborn. Here we go. Oh, man. Pulled pork's one of those ones, man. It's It can be quick. It can be easy. The whole bit. But here's, here's the thing. We got ours. Oh, by the way, like I said, it was being stubborn. This guy, what was it, seven and a half, eight pounds? That sucker has been in there for like 12 hours, man. It just didn't want to budge. So now, like I said, this this is a cut of meat from Costco. They're not bad, but they're not great, you know? Uh, so I was pretty prepared for this not to be like that, that super great cut. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, we've all been there. Uh, you, you, uh, we, we pulled that out, I think, 201, 202 degrees. Still not as, you know, pull apart as you want it to be. So, you know what, if that ever happens to you, here's a couple of our little tips. Now, by the way, I mean, have a look here. Bring this on in. I mean, it, <laughs> Holy cow, this is fantastic, guys. Holy moly, this is just like beautiful. So we're gonna take our nice big cleaver here. And what I love to do with this, you guys, you, 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 want, you, you don't want them like tiny pieces, but you do want it, you know, pretty nicely cut. So let's just take a second. And by the way, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Uh, this is a place you're going to find all kinds of fun recipes, neat equipment that we love to use. Uh, you know, talking to the people inside the industry that, that make this stuff, invent this stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, manufacture this stuff and are always available with all kinds of great answers to questions. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get that bark right in there. Now, by the way, I didn't do a lot of recording on how to set these up because it is pretty simple. Guys, here's my little tip for you, okay? If you end up with a little bit of a cut that's not quite as, somebody said no bone, no, no bone, just uh, just a pork butt from Costco, no no worries there at all. Uh, if you get a pork butt, this one's actually pretty good. It's a little bit on the drier side. Oh, wow, holy cow. Listen, I thought for sure I was gonna have to save this. I don't have to save this. This is fantastic. But here's a great little tip. If you ever wanted to, he said I was questioning the cut of the meat. I was so wrong. I got to give my apologies to Costco. <laughs> so here's what we got here. Look at this, guys. This is uh, pork gravy. You can use it from the drippings, right? Or you can do a package. This is to reintroduce some of that moisture in. So I don't really use a lot of the drippings um, when I do a pulled pork from a smoker. I've got enough smoke flavor in the meat. I don't need it in the uh, in the in the gravings, uh, gravy and the uh, the drippings as well. So we got the gravy at the bottom here. So watch this. You're gonna take your tongs, or you're just gonna kinda work that gravy in. There we go. Oh yeah. By the way, when this, well, whatever's left, hits the fridge for the night, and the next day you do this little step with the gravy, holy cow, does this pay dividends the next day? I can't even tell you. All right, there we go. This is gonna be so good. Oh man, I can, I can already just, I can already feel my teeth going through this. It's just gonna like fall. I love it. Oh, I can't wait now. I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on at this point so I don't soak that top bun. There we go. Now we've got some spicy slaw. You can use whatever coleslaw you want. Uh, we took this with a little bit of a dip that we love. There we go, a little bit of cayenne, and then we use some uh, uh, paprika and some chili uh, chili powder, just fantastic. So we're gonna get that on there. There we go. Can't have pulled pork sandwiches without the slaw. There we are. And this is our own little touch. All right, I love doing this. These are fried pickle chips. Yeah, they are. And they are so good, man alive. So I used a hickory smoke on this, and it is just, it's beautiful. You just, you taste the hickory. You don't have to try and taste the hickory through a chemical taste or, you know, any, any, any sort of uh, acidity or any anything bitter. Oh, it's just beautiful. So there we go, guys. That's about as perfect as a pulled pork sandwich is gonna get. Look at that bad boy. 
right there. That is lovely. All right, Trish, this one's all me. Here we go. I love these buns. They're so good. Mmm. 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 Holy cow. That's so freaking good. I can't even deal with it. No bite. Mmm. No, this is nuts. This is like one of the best pulled pork sandwiches. Eating out, pit masters, cooking at home, I've ever made, ever tasted. Isn't that incredible? Holy cow. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> wow. That's nuts. Jeez, that's good. Oh, God. All right, there. Yeah. Yeah.